you're still looking for the perfect holiday gift this season, we've got you covered for all the pet lovers in your life. From awesome fashion to fun events and everything in between, it's all right here on Pets on Parade. and welcome to Pets on Parade, brought to you by 3TV. My name is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this week. We missed you last week, and we hope that you all had a great and safe Thanksgiving. Now, we have a little bit of a musical theme with some of our pets today, including Garfunkel here, who is hoping to sing his way right into your heart. And don't worry, we're going to meet his brother, Simon, later on in the show. And we have a couple awesome events we want you to mark your calendars for two weeks from today. Today, first is the 12 Bars of Charity taking place on Saturday, December 21st in Old Town Scottsdale. This daytime bar crawl goes from 2 to 6 p.m. for less than $30. You'll receive a shirt to represent AHS and the blue team, free shuttle rides to and from bars, drink specials, and a $15 donation to AHS's homeless pets. And after that, we hope to see you at Holmberg's Happy Ending Comedy Show hosted by 98KUPD. This fun comedy event starts at 8 p.m. at Celebrity Theater. Theater in Phoenix and features comedians Brian Callen, Frank Caliendo, and Adam Ray. Best of all, a dollar from each ticket sold and a portion of beer sales of Holmberg Bound will benefit homeless pets of HS. Visit the Arizona Humane Society's Facebook page for more info and to get tickets to these awesome events. We hope to see you there. And we mentioned today's cuties are a musical bunch. Well, we have Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, or better known as Just Lucy. Whether you're a Beatles fan or not, we're sure you'll want to meet this sweet girl in just a few minutes. And contrary to my co-host kitten's name, this sweet girl won't ruffle any feathers for anyone watching out there. Ruffles is a 10-week-old gray domestic long-haired kitty that was brought to the Arizona Humane Society just a couple of days before Halloween as a healthy owner surrender. At just five weeks old, she was admitted into our kitten nursery to receive care prior to going to foster hero Cindy's home to overcome a few medical issues and to gain weight before her space surgery. And although she's described as a picky eater, she's definitely not picky when it comes to getting cuddles and playtime. You can meet Ruffles at our Campus for Compassion location today. And we're starting off our pups with an absolutely adorable, adorable girl who might need a little bit more of a patient family. Please tell us about Lucy Perry. Yeah, well, she was surrendered by a family that kind of had their hands full. They had a couple children in between the ages of four and nine, and then they had a newborn baby. And this is a nine-month-old doggy right here, so let's chuck up another child that they had in their house. And she was a little bit hyper for them. Um, they said, though, that she is friendly with everybody and everything. She's your typical little Aussie shepherd puppy. She likes Frisbee. She likes toys. She likes chasing things. So she is going to need an active household and somebody that's a little bit patient with her. She is a little bit timid. We had to kind of carry her in here. She doesn't walk really great on leash. She's a little bit lacking in some self-confidence right now. You know, when you do have a pet like this that maybe is a little bit shy, um, training is a great, great thing to do. Socialization is key for any animal, but especially for a youngster like this. So keep them socialized with other pets, with individuals, adults, big men, small women, big ladies, whatever, kids. You got to keep them uh, socialized with everybody so that they are used to them and they aren't, they get over the shyness. So she is a wonderful doggy and she's going to make the, a certain type of family that is very, very active, a wonderful doggy. Oh, so cute. Yes. Every type of person. That's right, Perry. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't think this next kitty is going to be leaving your house with any sounds of silence, but his cute little meows are totally worth it. And I spared everyone from singing today, Janine. So everyone should be happy. The sounds <laughs> of silence. Thank no. you. Okay. Yeah, that's way better. <laughs> no, she's probably way better than I am. So here we have Garfunkel. Of course, you're going to see his little brother later on. They were brought in. They're 12 weeks old to our admissions department, and they had infected eyes, kitty colds, fleas, and we took them in, put them in our kitten nursery and a little bit of TLC there. Then we sent them off to our foster hero, Joy's house, and she raised them perfectly. They are so sweet. We're just thrilled. I mean, orange tabbies, they're a fan favorite. 
And if you actually think about fostering yourself, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. I've done it for years. I love it. And there's always all kinds of different scenarios, like say if you travel all the time and you want a part-time pet. You know, you might have a two-week um, medication situation or something a little bit longer that might be like weight gain or broken bones or something a little more serious. So there's all kinds of ways to help out with, the, with fostering, and it really opens up our shelter because we couldn't do half the work we do if it wasn't for our foster heroes. So if you just go on azhumane.org slash foster, you can take an online uh, quiz, and there's a little one hour or so video that you will learn everything about it. And then our foster team will pick up the phone and call you and say, hey, what, do you, what kind of type of animal do you want to take home with you? And we'll set you up with a perfect match, and it will just fill your heart to no degree. You will love it. Oh, yes. Right? I think Garfunkel is trying to go sign up right now. He's Thank like, you so much for that important information, Janine. And like we mentioned earlier, HS has lots of awesome events coming up that help the homeless pets that we care for. We hope to see you at the VIG Fillmore a week from Sunday on December 15th for their Pints and Paws brunch benefiting HS. The event starts at noon and will feature adoptable dogs, giveaways, a delicious brunch, and more. In addition, December's community handle is the Santan Face Liquor Lager with a portion of the proceeds benefiting the Arizona Humane Society. So make sure to mark your calendars to help homeless pets while having yummy food and drinks. And what, with this kitty, once, the, once you pop, the fun don't stop. Please tell us about Pringle Berry. <laughs> That's right. This is a little potato chip right here. <laughs> and really, a really gorgeous, uh, I would say medium to long-haired kitty this is going to be. Very, very calm, likes being cuddled. This is a, an owner surrender, a healthy owner surrender, and she's with us now. You know, this is really not exactly kitten season. We're kind of on the downside of that. But as you can see, and you're going to see a little bit more in the show, we do have some, some kittens here still. Uh, this little one right here, like I said, uh, was an owner surrender. And you know, we're seeing an uptick right now in surrenders at the shelter. And uh, when you have to do that, please, you're going to have to call our uh, PRC, our Pet Resource Center. And when you do that, you're going to get questioned as to you know, exactly what the reason for surrender is. Sometimes it's something we can get you over in the short term. You know, if it's food you need, if it's uh, some sort of resources you're looking for, pet sitters or anything like that, and just a reason that you might need to surrender your pet, PRC can help. We take about 90,000 phone calls a year. So please don't hesitate to do that. And if you do have to surrender your pet, then we will help you with that also. But please give the Arizona Humane Society a call. Thank you so much for that information, Perry. And we want to wish a happy adoption day to Raven. This five-month-old kitten arrived at the Arizona Humane Society underage, underweight, and fearful of just about everything. With lots of patience and treats from Raven's foster hero, she gained the confidence she needed to impress her new family. And shortly into her meet and greet, it was a done deal. Raven was going home. Make sure to visit azhumane.org slash adopt to see all of our wonderful pets who are still awaiting an adoption day of their own. And now it's time to meet some awesome brothers along with their awesome fosters. Uh, you can't go wrong with a rhyming duo, Lisa. <laughs> that's right. Max and Jax, that's who we have here. And uh, Janine was telling everybody about our foster program. Here are two of our foster heroes right here in the studio with us. This is Larry and Joanne, and they are Max and Jax's foster parents. So Joanne there has Jax. And Larry has Max, and these two have been in foster with them for about five weeks. They came in as tiny little kittens in our bottle baby ICU, and then once they've been checked out by the vets, they get sent out to our most experienced foster homes, and these guys have fostered about 80 kittens. So these two now are ready for their adoptive home. And we are thinking that they will do best together. They look like twins, and we all know that twins always share a special bond, just like these two do. They've grown up together. They teach each other. They keep each other company. They also um, show each other when they're getting too rough, which sometimes with one kitten, they can get too rough, and if they don't have another kitten to explain to them. So they would entertain each other. They would, while well, you're at work, they could easily keep each other company. And then when you get home, these two will be more than calm and happy to curl up in your laps. So come down and meet these two. They will love to be together. And hopefully you will see the beauty in keeping these two beautiful kitties together. Uh, yes, and a special thank you to Joanne and Larry. You guys are so awesome and so great at fostering. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you for that. And make sure to stay tuned to Pets on Parade. If you noticed how awesome my shirt is and want to get one for yourself, you are in luck. 
State 48 is here to talk all about how their new AHS design is helping homeless pets right here in the Valley. That's coming up.